Well, 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 look who's come crawling back. I genuinely do not know how to start my videos, so. This week, I let my Instagram followers decide what I should paint, and you guys did not disappoint. I asked if you guys wanted a landscape or a portrait, and overwhelmingly, you guys picked a landscape. Now, I can't tell if that's because you guys have never seen me do a landscape before, and you're just genuinely curious, or if it's like, you want me to suffer because you know I don't like doing landscapes. Either way, here we are. Next, I asked you guys what color palette I should choose and you chose this one. I like this color palette more for doing portraits, but not gonna happen. So I felt a little caught off guard by that, but let's keep going, shall we? I then asked you guys what media I should use and mostly you guys said watercolor with the exception of Amy who said that G1 I can't pronounce. We love that for her, she did her best. Next, I asked if the landscape should take place during the night or day and you guys picked night. I shouldn't have even asked this question because it doesn't make any sense for me to make a nighttime landscape painting with this color palette but for some reason I asked this question and I genuinely regret it but we're gonna make it work somehow I didn't want to do a classic landscape that's like mountains and forests and nature because I'll be honest I find that a little bit boring I'm working from a picture that I took in 2015 Sarah didn't even know what COVID was at that time. I literally don't know that person. I honestly always wanted to paint this picture, but I never could. Every time I tried, it never worked out because the reference I'm working from is incredibly dark and difficult to make out what's going on. The other reason is I just think that it's difficult for me to do landscapes because I don't do them enough, so that contributes. What makes me think that this time is gonna be any different? I don't know, but for some reason, I feel like it's gonna be different. All right, so let's get started. I already did like a rough drawing this morning just so that I could have an idea of how everything's gonna be placed. Hopefully this drawing actually helps me. I can already tell that there's a few things off that I'm gonna have to change, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. First, I'm gonna mix some colors. So I'm kind of confused about how I'm going to tackle this. The way that I'm interpreting how I could use the color palette that you guys picked is I can use more than six colors or five colors. As long as I stick to yellow, orange, green, and red, I can use variations of that. I could do like a really deep, super dark red or a really deep, super dark green. As long as I don't go outside of that and do like a blue or use like black or the other colors. I don't know, here we go. If this turns out really bad, I'm still posting this video. <laughs> because uh, why not? For some reason, I want to do the sky green. Also, I'm going as fast as I can and using every brain cell that I have right now because I don't want any lines or any watermarks. So we have our beautiful green background. For some reason, I just like pictured myself as Bob Ross explaining to you guys like what I'm doing. I just had like an outer body experience. Okay, you need to relax. I know for sure I'm gonna do the lights like a yellowy orange color so let's fill that in i feel like i hate being told what to do which is why i love art because no one can tell me what to do except in this very instance right now when i told you guys to tell me what to do but because i told you to tell me what to do it feels like i'm doing this of my own free will like it feels like these are my own choices that i've made i decided i'm gonna do the buildings red like maybe if i do a deep dark red it will work the thing that I was always taught about color was it doesn't matter what color you're using, all that matters is if you use the right value. So if I'm just using the right light and dark, then everything should work out in my favor, according to the laws of art. Would I be arrested according to the laws of art? Probably not. People have done crazier things than me. I actually love this paper. It's so nice. I don't know what paper I'm using, but I will write it somewhere what paper I'm using because wow, it's life changing. Mm, I just made a mistake because I wasn't paying attention. Thanks a lot, guys. I feel like I'm not being as careful as I normally would. And I don't know if it's because the paper's making me do it or if there's some other reason that I haven't thought of. 
Maybe I'm just really nervous. <laughs> I don't feel nervous to not nerf them. You guys like my deductive reasoning skills? <laughs> a whole lot more where that came from. Maybe this could be like a really loose watercolor. It might be nice, you know? Or it might look really, really bad. Um, we're not gonna know till a little bit later. Maybe even soon, actually. Okay, I think I could do the rest of the red too. I feel like if I just keep it loose and I'm not like super precious with it, then I feel like it'll add to the vibe I'm going for. It might be nice. I hate that I can't like use black. I should have put black in the color palette. I was just about to be like, is green in my color palette? Yeah, green is in your color palette, Sarah. It's literally your whole background. Okay, so I'm thinking that the bottom ground part should be green again because I feel like it doesn't make any sense to make it red. I feel like it'll blend in too much with the buildings I have going on here. And then I also think that if I make it yellow, it's gonna make it seem like it's light. So I feel like green is kind of our op only option right now. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I think though maybe I could use a different type of green because I had like a, I think a warmer green and a cooler green. I like this green, it's like a nice olive green. See, this would have been so nice to do a portrait with these colors. I'm complaining for no reason right now. That's my whole brand, I think. Okay, so this is looking like a hot piece of garbage. I somehow just spilt water. I am literally going to be so disappointed in myself if I cannot pull this off and I don't know why but I just decided that like a few minutes ago. I can't have it looking bad. I promised my Instagram followers, actually I promised you guys nothing but in my head I made promises so I think that counts for something. So I just darkened the bottom of the painting right now because it needed to happen. I'm just gonna throw in, throw in a like quick little street light lamp thing here. It was always there, but I'm just throwing it in quickly, you know? Like it's not the worst thing I've ever made because I've made some pretty terrible things, but it's not the best. I want it to be way better. I feel like I need to buckle down and get it together. I haven't been able to do that my whole life, but maybe I'll be able to do it this time. I'm gonna do a few more things in the middle ground red and then kind of like see where I'm at and just really just judge the hell out of this thing. Just give me one sec. I'm kind of at the part in my painting where it's looking incredibly ugly. I didn't know what to do about that besides switching brush, my brush, switching brush and just hoping like maybe that'll do something. I think I psyched myself out and I also think that my reference is incredibly hard to work from. Yeah, I know I'm blaming other things other than myself, but at this point, why not? I need white. Like not that that's gonna pull anything together, but it'll help a little bit. I am like unnecessarily stressed right now. Okay, fine. I made a bad painting. Whatever. Not a big deal. It is a big deal. Why is this happening to me? I don't even know where to go with it now at this point. I feel like I've made it so bad that I don't know where to go. I'm trying to like start painting inside the lines a little bit more, but I know that going down that road isn't gonna work for me because I've already gone down this messy road and now I'm trying to clean up my mistakes and whenever you try to do that it never works out okay just a little tip you just gotta live with your mistakes that's the best way to do this feels like I'm talking about real life but I'm talking strictly about art <laughs> I mean, I guess you could live with your mistakes, your life mistakes, but let's just end it there. <laughs> so I just want to not, I, so I just went into another dimension while painting, something that I like to call stress painting. And while I was in that other dimension, I decided that there is no problem with me using white. I don't think that there's an issue. Also, I feel like I've messed up my painting so much at this point that I don't even think white could save it, but it's like our Hail Mary right now. If anything can help this painting, it's gonna be white. We're gonna try, gonna put a little white gouache in here. It's not 
not gonna hurt anyone and it's not cheating. I accidentally painted over so many things because I am disorganized. Classic me. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Okay, I don't like that, so moving on. I actually feel like this might even be closer to the color palette I was supposed to be using, so that's very interesting. Great job, Sarah. I don't understand why this was so hard. I feel like it actually did not need, need to be at all. Like, I, I feel like it was actually a simple task and I somehow made it really hard. Part of me just wants to stop because I feel like I'm not making it better, I'm just making it worse. Another part of me is telling me to keep going because sometimes my paintings go through ugly stages, you know? And maybe this is just the ugly stage before it gets better. That's me being positive. Uh, I just feel like the values are so close together. Like that whole thing I was talking about earlier with the values, I messed up. I'm still committed to saving this, so we're just gonna push past the hard parts to hopefully get to the good parts. I've been painting for like two hours at least, bare minimum. I think that I have suffered enough, personal opinion. I can't seem to make it look right. Like, it doesn't look absolutely awful. It's not the worst thing I've ever made in my entire life. It is up there, I will say that. Should I have chosen a better reference? 100%. It's too late now, obviously. I have like one particular car that um, has been giving me a lot of trouble and literally it's impossible to pretty much tell which way the car is faced, I feel like. Let's try to clear that up right now. Okay, I don't want to give up. Okay, yeah, I think I'm good to stop. This was a very interesting experience. I'm glad I did it, but the results, not good for me. I don't even know what to say about it. I just hate it so much, but I'm still gonna post it because not everything you make is gonna be perfect. And I feel like I need to set an example of that sometimes. <laughs> so that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys like this video, then give it a like. If you wanna subscribe, then subscribe. And I will see you guys next week for I don't know what yet, but I will see you guys next week. Bye.